Hey guys, welcome to the 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. It is the uh, long lost onion here. It's been uh, 15 days since I've made a video and I want to thank everybody who reached out to me to uh, ask if I was okay. I am fine. Everything is wonderful. I've never been better. And uh, the weather here has been miserable and uh, just cold and windy and rainy. And when the days have been good, we've been out decorating the house on, and uh, on the outside for Christmas. Running around doing things for uh, getting ready for Sadie's wedding. We found 89 wooden chairs and six tables uh, for a hundred dollars. So we ran out and bought those. So we'd have tables and chairs for the wedding. Chairs are all maple. Wonderful chairs. Uh, we, we couldn't have rented them for eight times that. So we snapped those up and uh, We drove about an hour, an hour away to pick those up and uh, loaded them up in our truck and Channing brought his uh, family Suburban and we loaded those suckers up <laughs> and drove them home, unloaded them, put them in the, the, the barn and uh, so we're pretty much set for seating and tables and stuff. We may get, I need a few more tables. We had four more tables we could have taken, but we couldn't fit them, so we had to leave four tables. Ten-foot tables. We should be able to fit everybody. But we've got uh, we got more tables if we need them. So so we've been we've been busy, and. Uh, I haven't had a smoke in, since Thanksgiving when uh, uh, Pipe Companion David came here for Thanksgiving and we had a wonderful time with David and I'm so glad he came. Had a great time and uh, he and I got to smoke a couple pipes while he was here on Thanksgiving and the day after. Uh, we went to Milan the day after Thanksgiving. I had a good time there and then came back here and had a pipe together. And a bunch of pie. What a great guy. I love that guy, man. He is just, he's just a wonderful man and uh, just a good, good, good friend. Yeah, I've been having some fun with the cameras and uh, taking a bunch of pictures. I uh, scored another camera body, uh, Minolta 800 SI. Uh, I, I actually moved into the 90s with that camera body. <laughs> I've been living in the 80s with my other Minoltas and their autofocus. And, and this one here is a, a several steps up from the, the 7000s that I had. And uh, this one was sitting on eBay for a while, and I made a ridiculously low offer, and the guy took it, and I was just thrilled. Things in perfect condition, works great. All autofocus, auto wind. Um, uses all the the lenses I already have. For my other Minoltas. And I've been I've been using the Yashica that Mark sent me. I'm loving that one. Just having a blast with that one. You know, it's all manual, which is so much fun to use.
I'm just having so much fun with the photography right now and uh, loving that. I got uh, some big news this morning in an email which I will share with you guys once it's all official. It was a huge and huge unexpected honor for me this morning. Um, truly humbling, huge, huge honor for me. Um, which I will share with you guys when it's all official. Uh, uh, hopefully it's, they said that they were going to send me all the stuff by, th hopefully by Christmas. And so I will share it with you once it's official. Uh, I didn't see that coming at all. I'm hugely humbled by this honor and uh, uh, not sure I deserve it but um, uh, I was stunned by that this morning but um, um thankful and humbled and, and it's an honor but uh, I'm uh, supposed to rain here any time by 4 o'clock we're supposed to get it's 3.30 right now we're supposed to have an 80% chance of rain by 4 o'clock so I figured I'd better get out here and have a smoke if I'm ever going to get one in. So. So Corvette Jim, I'm digging the new truck, or 250 Jim. <laughs> I like that. 250 Jim. I like that. That's, I think that's a good name for you, Jim. Can't be Corvette Jim anymore if you don't have a Corvette. So now you got that 250 truck. So. It's, too fitty, Jim. I think that's a good name for you. So, <laughs> that's a good looking truck, Jim. I like that truck. I like that body shape. I've always liked those old Fords. I had some old Ford, some old, old Fords. I had a 1960 Ford pickup, which was a, which was a beast. It was a, had a metal dashboard held in with screws. I mean, it was a beast. And then I had a 68 Ford pickup. Loved both those trucks, man. Those were great trucks. Yeah, 68 had four on the floor with a granny gear that was a that was a great truck man that granny gear was something else man Taught my brother to drive a stick shift on that truck. <laughs> he was nine years older than me, didn't know how to drive a stick. That's just sad. That's just sad. <laughs> That's one thing Sadie's proud of. She's she can drive a stick. She's so proud of that. 
she learned to drive on a stick shift. She is so proud of that. She's, none of her friends know how to drive a stick. I told her, the good thing about having a car that's a stick shift is none of these kids nowadays can steal it. <laughs> Nobody's going to carjack you because they can't drive your car. It's a millennial theft, anti-theft device. Sadie got in an accident this morning. She's fine. She's fine. Car's a little messed up. She was at fault. She didn't look behind her. She backed out of a spot. She was at Starbucks. The, the line for the Starbucks was behind her. She looked this way, didn't look that way. Backed out of the spot and the back of the guy's truck was on this side of our car, of our car and took a good took a good thump to the side of the car and uh took the side Side mirror out and put a big old dent in the side of the car. Door doesn't open all the way anymore. That's what we have insurance for. She learned a valuable lesson from this. <laughs> you got to look both ways when you're backing out. Not just to this side. You got to look to that side as well. She was a little shook up. She got home. She was taking McKinley to work and they decided to stop at Starbucks on the way. But everybody was fine. The guy was real nice in the truck. But that's why you have insurance. And she learned a great lesson. So luckily nobody was hurt. Cars can be fixed. Still drives. It's going to be an expensive lesson for Sadie, though. She's going to have to pay the co payment, and her insurance is going to go up. So. Live and learn.
was it was funny because McKinley texted me and she says, "Now, Dad, don't don't yell at her or anything when she gets home because she's kind of shook up about this and everything." <laughs> Can you yell at her? <laughs> I've been in accidents. I know how it is. <laughs> She's a good sister. <laughs> I love that they look out for each other like that. Don't get mad at her. Don't yell at her or anything. She shook up. <laughs> I got mad at her, she just flipped me off anyway, so. Anyway, it's good to be back out here talking to you guys. Having a smoke. Man, I miss these. I miss this time sitting out here. And having a smoke and relaxing. And it's not really the very relaxing because I'm trying to beat the rain, so... I'm not really having a relaxing smoke, if I'm honest. I know it's going to rain at any time here, so... I'm not really getting to... have a relaxing smoke, but... I'm getting to have a smoke. And talk with you guys. And that's enough. That's enough. That's all I can really ask for. As you can see, the grass has gone dormant back here. I've been cutting down a bunch of the stuff in the back back here. Getting my view back. Got to get this stuff down here next. Some of those are way down the hill. So I can't do anything about those. Well, I could, but I'm not going to. I might, but we'll see. Depends how frisky I feel. getting nice and cool so I'm feeling like doing a lot of this stuff and cutting things down I gotta get these bushes right here these are real thorny pains in the butt and I gotta get in there and get those next
Well, these ones all in here, these are all real thorny. I'll be taking the chainsaw and taking those down to the ground. It's a good feeling, man. It's a good feeling clearing all that stuff. I love it. Anyway, it's 21 minutes. It's way longer than I wanted to go. I will catch you all later. Have a good one. God bless. If I don't see you before Christmas, <laughs> have a good one. I'm sure I will. Uh, have a great one. I love you guys. I promise it won't be another 15 days. I guarantee it. Talk to y'all later. Have a good one. God bless.